Hope you guys are all having a great Thursday. It's almost Halloween. I hope you're all excited for that and looking forward to the weekend. So just came on to talk a little bit about art and process and all of that fun stuff. Last time we talked about art process, we talked about abstracts like the one behind me where it's, it, we talked about the challenge and the interesting part of painting, the idea of splashing into water, the idea of movement of water, and a particular feeling, particularly in those Caribbean blue type waters, those tropical places. We talked about the challenge it is to paint that feeling of jumping off the boat into the water without painting someone jumping off of the boat into the water. The other thing I've been painting lately is something that's a little bit more objective. So for example, you can actually see the person standing on the beach or the sailboat out in the, the storm that's approaching and things like that. In this case though, I've chosen to, the challenge I'm working on now is how do we simplify that down to the absolute minimum visually and still give the feeling? So how simple can we get? and still record that, the feeling or the scene or, or whatever it is we're going for in that particular one. So obviously you guys are all familiar with this painting. This is contemplation, this is a print of it. Um, again, here we have the lady on the beach and the towel staring off into the water. So it is objective in that we can see who the person is and where they are and a little bit more information than you would have say in an abstract but we're still keeping it very simplified. We haven't put in here the clouds, we haven't put in the waves. So to create this type of painting, it's a lot of subtraction and it's a lot of restraint and it's actually, it's actually really hard. So a lot of you saw the post that I put up a day or two ago with the two paintings that I did of the same scene, the same colors and so forth, but using completely different style. And this actually, <laughs> this was, I did a lot of studies of this scene and this one I love and I may turn into a finished painting. This is just a study. But this one I consider quite honestly sort of a fail of <laughs> when I was going for something more simplified. And it's so hard as an artist not to keep adding. You always want to add one more detail, one more, you know, so on or so forth or interesting thing. And this, I, I'm not going to lie, I had so much fun with this. I had fun mixing and blending paint is one of the most fun things there is in the world to do. So I had fun, you know, mixing and blending the grays in the sky and I had fun mixing and blending the blues and the turquoise colors in the water. So that is fun. And I also love the feeling of this. I love the, the sheer simplicity of this, which is what I was going for. More of a companion piece in the same series as Contemplation. Um, it takes so, first of all, you have to subtract. You have to look at your inspiration and you have to subtract a lot of things out there to get to this point. And it takes a lot of thinking and a lot of decision making to say, what can I subtract? What should I subtract? Here you're clearing out all the noise to get to just the very essence of the scene. And so it's, you know, well, it is a lot of math, figuring out literal math, figuring out the proportions of, you know, how wide do I want each of these fields of color to be and so forth. But it's also, you know, um, not literal math and subtraction. You're, subtra you're figuring out what do I need to leave in? What are the most important essences of this? And then what needs to come out in order to make this just a very, 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 very restrained, very simplified composition. So that's sort of the fun I have with that. And it's really hard. And so <laughs> sometimes when you start doing it, you end up adding, which is also fun. Um, not as restrained, it's very playful. This one is sort of an intellectual exercise in what can we do with this? What's the essence? What's the basic, you know, what's the, the, the basic things that we need to have in here? What is the essential pieces that will give us this feeling in this? And then it leaves you with a very different feeling than the more, um, <laughs> the more playful, I guess, version of it. Uh, but 
but it's it's really neat to see the two side by side and that is such a joyful thing about doing what I do so anyway if you haven't yet please go to my website www.lauramckenziegallery.com sign up for my newsletter you will get a 10% off coupon for an art print or merchandise I am about to drop a whole bunch of new stuff on there soon and I'm going to be having a live art show coming up here in the next few days. So you want to be on my mailing list and you want to get the advanced information about that, hopefully. So thanks for tuning in. It was good to see you guys this morning. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.